I would like to quickly mention a few benefits of owning a safety cover. They keep your family and pets safe, they protect your investment, they save you money, they're extremely simple to use, and they give your pool a finished look during the off season. Before we get started, let's talk about what to take for the perfect measurement. You need to bring measuring forms, 100 foot fiberglass tape, lawn stakes or rebar measuring in 2 foot lengths, sidewalk chalk, camera, pen and paper, large hammer, and duct tape. Step number one, establish reference points for the AB stakes, then record the distance between the two. The distance between A and B should be approximately two-thirds the length of the pool and at least three feet from the pool's edge. Step number two. With sidewalk chalk, mark pool perimeter every 18 to 24 inches, not starting on a feature, and number every fifth point. The distance between points is not fixed. It should vary with the complexity of the shape of the pool. The closer the marks for the tight radiuses and further apart on the straight walls. Step number three. Measure and record from stake A to point one, two, and so on around the pool. Then repeat measurement in the same order but using the B stake. Make sure that you are recording the points correctly and in the same order to ensure order accuracy. Step number four. After marking the perimeter of the pool, go back and mark the perimeter and non-perimeter features. Examples would be a raised deck or a waterfall. We have now completed the measuring. I would like to remind you when filling out the order forms, please do so correctly and please write clearly. A couple other things I would like to remind you of are Please plot enough points. You can never give us too many. Finish measuring back at point one for both A and B points. Also, draw the shape of the pool with A B points noted for orientation and note any obstacles within 30 inches of the pool. Measure the cross dimensions of the pool and also measure raised walls at one foot increments and determine if the raised wall can support drilling and eye bolts. And also, remember, please send us any photos that you have of the pool because anything helps.